The last thing you said in that little tape piece here, you said is my mother just needs to leave my life alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she needs to live her life and I need to live mine. Okay, you're how old? I'll be 30 in a month. Okay, and you live where? With my mother. I know, and I knew that that would be brought up. Right. So what the hell are you doing living with your mother at 30 years old? Um, well, I have been spoon-fed my entire life, so I'm, I wouldn't even know what to do if I moved out. I mean, she literally, she does my laundry for me. H have you crippled her to the point of dependency that actually, she has to live with you? Actually, I probably have. I've enabled her. I've paid every, a lot of car payments, a, a lot of bills, um, well, fines. We're not talking and... about car payments. We're talking about, she says she doesn't know how to wash her underwear. Well, I do that because I'm kind of particular about, you know, making full loads and washing whites with whites. So it's, it's, it's my stuff, yeah. And I probably should have stopped that a long time ago, among a lot of other things. True. True. I should have made her dependent a long time ago, or independent, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I made her dependent, yeah. Yeah, well, Freud gets it right once in a while. Uh, so... Do you want her gone? My heart really does want her gone. I just feel like I'm protecting her from the world because I don't like the, her choices at all. Okay, so you're doing this to protect her. I believe... How's that working for you? It's not working for she me. She wants me to live up to what she thinks I should be doing. Like, she, basically, just I'm normal. never good enough. Just so whatever I'm doing. I just is, want normal. Oh, normal. Do you know how many times I hear normal on a daily basis? Normal's boring. She says you stalk her. Okay, stalking. Um, gosh, I, I fear. I'm scared to death for her. I'm scared to death every time she walks out the door. And that incident that happened last she Friday. She said you chased her through the neighborhood. That's true. Recently. Last Friday, yes. I get home from work, she meets me outside, she wants $20 to go eat something with a friend, and then I get in the house and I'm rethinking this whole situation. She wants $20 and she says they don't want, pe she doesn't want the person to know where we live, and she's walking down the street. Oh, because I just, I hopped in that to car. Meet them. She has no, no. their name, phone numbers, no, no. she wants me to take selfies with no, people no. I'm with. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> re bring receipts of what I spend the money on. It's really. Everything's a lie, ridiculous. Dr. Phil, though. Everything's a lie. If I give her money, she says it's for this, it's never for because that. Because I don't need to. But don't ask me for money then. Well, then don't, don't ask it to me. Did you chase her through the neighborhood? I chased down those people in that car, and I told them, don't let my daughter in that car. And then I continued to chase her, and I was in a roundabout, and we were going roundabout, and she's chasing me with a purse. It was, so it was, she's 30, living with you. She's going off with some people, and you're chasing her through the neighborhood around a circle. Absolutely, absolutely. Reversing and, like, yeah, I was skirting around was, the neighborhood, and I'm running yeah. with the my The police bag. were called by neighbors for that. You're running. Completely. <laughs> Does this seem reasonable to you, Mom? Uh, we went swimming after that together at my uncle's house. That's how sick it is. We talked about the incident. We, we cried together. And then it was such a hot day in Northern California, we, we did go swimming. <laughs> Am I getting punked here? <laughs>